Bonjour les amis. All right, so I told you I would explain to you how to do the CAMI um, worksheets that you have in Schoology. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on your link here. If I can get it to work. Let's see if, hmm, there it goes. Um, so you're going to click on your link there. It's going to take you to um, your Schoology if you're already logged in on another um, tab, it will log you in, but I haven't been logged in today, so it's going to pull it up this way. When you get to the assignment, let's see, um, this is what you're going to see. Um, when you open it up for yourself, it'll automatically create a copy that it shares with me. And this might take a second. Um, oh, open assignment with Cami is actually what I want to click. Make sure you click where it says open assignment with Cami because that was probably what I did wrong in the first place. So when you open it with Cami, that's going to do the correct thing, which is it's going to allow me to see your work. Um, it's going to, you need to log in. You want to log in or sign up with Google. Uh, you have to have an account in order to do this, but it's approved through FCPS, so it's no problem. Make sure you use your school address. And like I said, when you open the assignment with Cami, it's going to share it with me automatically. Um, this is just the beginning. It's a PDF. And what Cami allows us to do is edit a PDF. Um, so the two words that I want you to do, first you're going to click text box over here. You can change the color of your ink and the size. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to put in the first word, which is l'avenir, and then the next word, which is um, le bon vieux temps. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to click on each of these and you're going to make an educated guess as to what you think it means. Then you're going to go to word reference. So for each of these, you're going to go, you're going to type in wordreference.com. And then you're going to say what you found out the word meant for real. Um, and you can make this bigger like that. Um, and then, so you're going to put in, I'm not going to tell you. If you look at the picture, though, on the wiser sheet, I actually, um, you might be able to see them there. But that's what you're going to do. And then it says draw a picture. I'm not going to, I don't actually, I'm a terrible um, artist. So what I'm going to do, as you guys might remember, is I'm going to click image. And um, what I've already done is like, if you go to and find an image, like say, um, this word actually means future, so I'll find that, or l'avenir does, so I'm going to find an image that's hilarious that there's a rapper named future. I did not know that. Um, so we'll go ahead and take a picture of him because it's kind of funny. So we could just save the image. And then I'll be able to insert it into my response. So that's what I want you to do. But one of the things that's really important about this is called a cognitive content dictionary. Cognitive means thinking. And we know that you won't remember the words if you don't think about them. Um, also, one of the things that helps our brains to remember is being wrong about things. Um, so I want you to guess what you think the word means before you look it up because it, it just tricks your brain into remembering it better. And then also picking a picture of something that's funny or clever um, or just helps you remember um, is, and you see how I put that in there, and then I'm going to size it down so it fits into the space that I have. Okay, so, um, and then you make up a sentence with it and then create a synonym for the word. And you should be able to find synonyms on word reference, like words that mean the same thing. And you want it to be a French word that means to think the same thing. So like what I put um, when I did the example was I put, um, cause l'avenir means future, 
come on, there it goes. Um, I put plus tard, which means later. Plus tard. So that way, you know, that's like a synonym for future, something that's later. So um, I want you to do this. And then you're going to do two words every day. And then at the end of the week, this whole sheet should be full. Um, so I'm not going to worry about saving it because I know I know it. I want you to do it. So that's what you're doing here is you're just linking in to your cognitive content. And here you can see here I did the first two for you. So you can just look at that to find out how to do it. You can just copy what I put if you want. But I want you guys to know how to do this because Tomorrow, you're not going to have all this extra help of me doing them for you and giving you an image and doing another video. Like, you need to watch the video and understand how to do it today. So let me know if you have any questions or if anything doesn't work for you. Just make sure when you're in Schoology that you click open in Cami and you go ahead and sign in with your school Google.